Ah, the radio. It was quite the invention when it came out. I mean, to be able to hear a broadcast from miles and miles away is pretty amazing when you think about it. The radio was one of the first mainstream forms of technological entertainment that found its way into the homes of Americans and many more. You could get anything from news to music to sports, all the way up to the president himself addressing the people from this noisy little box. It is no secret that the radio today is more or less obsolete with the advent of things like television, smartphones, video games, and whatnot, but the radio still hangs in there with some people quite passionate about it actually, perhaps making their own broadcasts or just enjoying the noise it provides. But let me tell you, I'm not one of those people. I wish the radio would die. You already know that from the title of this video, but let me be clear, I hate the radio with every fiber of my being, so I'm going to take a bit of your time, if you care to listen, to explain why. So as a person who hates the radio, you may be surprised to find out that I listen to the radio almost every single day. Now, trust me, this isn't by choice. See, since I'm not a big famous YouTuber yet, I work a regular job at a factory, and at this factory, they play the radio over these speakers, so you're not just listening to the sounds of machines and everyone's hopes and dreams slowly dying for 10 hours a day. No, instead, we get to listen to those things along with the same seven songs and countless mind-numbing ads for 10 hours a day. Well, I suppose the same seven song is a bit of an exaggeration, as there are about four different stations that they'll play throughout the week. From least hated to most hated, it goes a rock station. They play stuff like Metallica, Nirvana, ACDC, you know, stuff like that. Then there's a classic rock station that plays like Queen, Def Leppard, you know, 80s stuff. And then there's a country station that is just awful, and then the worst of the worst is the new music station. So to break down each station, the rock one is tolerable for the most part. I don't like every song that they play, but every now and then they'll play a song that I do legitimately enjoy, even if some are totally ruined by censorship. But that's not really my first big issue with the radio. I don't understand why they censor anything on it. Personally, I don't think any language should be censored. I mean, who are they really trying to save from these naughty words? You may think, well, children, but ask yourself, what child is listening to the radio ever, unless they're like in a vehicle with their parent or something? But even still, I don't believe people should be coddled like that. And besides, it's not like they aren't going to be swearing a ton on the playground. But hey, that's just my opinion. If you believe in censorship, then fine. But at least be consistent with it. I mean, they'll play More Human Than Human by White Zombie. No issues. If you don't know what that song is, look it up and listen to the first 45 seconds, then come back here. So you know, that completely fine and perfectly approved for children ears, but god forbid you say fuck, cause that needs to be blanked out or completely silenced, cause you can't damage the moral fiber of the children with a swear. Moving on now to the classic rock station, this one I also don't completely hate. They play some songs that I can get down with, they're not like my favorite songs, but they are more than tolerable. Although this one day, I have no idea what was going on with it, but they played the song Sweet Child O' Mine six times within a two hour period. I don't know if they were taking suggestions or someone had a stroke, but it was very annoying. I mean, I don't hate the song, but also that's excessive. Now, the country station is a bit interesting. I just flat out am not a fan of country music. It's just simply not my thing. Nothing against people who do like it, but just quick question, do they not write new country songs? I mean, I worked another job like three years ago that also played the country station like exclusively, and it's literally the exact same. Maybe like one or two new songs in the mix. Now, this could just be all radio stations, maybe none of them change, and if that's the case, that just makes it even worse, as the radio is just purgatory, I guess. I don't know, I don't really have too much more to say about the music on this station. I feel like you're smart enough to imagine how much it sucks you just need to sit there and listen to songs that you don't really like for 10 hours. It's not very fun. But now to get on to the new music station. This one is just the bane of my existence. I mean, I can mostly tune out the country and the other two play songs that I can just mostly tune out or that I actually like. But this station has by far the least variety in songs and most of them are horrible. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of pop music. Some of it can be good, but most of it isn't in my opinion. There's actually a few specific songs I want to mention here. Bad Guy by Billie Eilish makes me want to shoot myself. I really have no idea how anyone likes it. It's just her mumbling into a microphone saying I'm the bad guy, duh. Then it's preceded by the most annoying excuse for music I have ever heard. It's just ear bleeding. I don't know if it's an instrument or what the hell it is, but I do hate it. Now, I do also just want to say, I'm not just sitting here hating on Billie Eilish. I never heard or was interested in hearing one of her songs before I started working here. But another song by her, Therefore I Am, I did have to look up the actual name for it, isn't horrible. The chorus is catchy and doesn't make me want to die for the entire song, so there you go. But there is one song that this radio station plays. This song is the absolute worst thing I have ever heard. I am not exaggerating when I say this is my least favorite song ever made. Overwhelmed by Royal and the Serpent. I had to look up the name of this one as well. 
I fucking hate this song. Literally everything about it from the music to the whiny, bitchy little voice the singer has, just all of it. It's to the point that I literally will not listen to this song. I mean, if it starts playing, I will go to the bathroom. And it has happened before where I've gone to the bathroom because I actually had to, came back, this song started playing, and I went back to the bathroom just to avoid it. This song rubs me the wrong way, and I just will never forgive it. So as far as music goes, it can range from actually enjoying it to completely hating it. I would enjoy it if there was more variety, like if I didn't have to hear the exact same songs, it would be nice, but I also do listen to the same songs that I enjoy over and over again, so I suppose I can't really say much about variety. However, music is not the worst part of the radio, not by a long shot. In fact, if it was just music, I would be totally content and I wouldn't complain. But the radio is not just music. There is an abundance of ads. Now, no one likes commercials on TV or on YouTube or anywhere really, but the worst commercials of all time are on the radio. I'm convinced that they go out of their way to make radio ads as annoying as possible. There is no other excuse for this crap. These ads literally have gotten me to the point that I've almost walked out of my job, but then I remember, hey, you kind of need money to like exist, so maybe don't walk out. But the fact that it has made the thought cross my mind is definitely saying something. Now, here again, I just want to go over a few of these ads just to give you an idea of how awful they are. I wasn't able to find any of these commercials on the internet, so I'll just do my best to describe them. So, the first one we'll talk about is for Toyotathon. It's an annual sale that Toyota does, and see, one thing the radio ads do is try to be funny or tell a little story or something. So, the premise of this ad is a man calling the Toyota dealership to find out more information about the sale. So as the lady's going on her spiel, you start to hear breathing, and the Toyota lady stops and says, uh, do you hear that? Then the guy says, oh, that would be my mother. I'm home for the holidays, and it seems she still listens in on my phone calls like she used to. Then the mother chimes in and says, oh, I'm sorry, dear, gives this annoying little giggle, and then says, but what's this I hear about great deals? Then the Toyota lady just goes back to her spiel, like, tell me, what was the point of any of that bullshit? I mean, what is this ad supposed to make me think? Like, oh, ha ha ha, my mother is also incredibly intrusive on my personal life. I should buy a Toyota. I mean, the ad is annoying as hell the first time I hear it, but when I hear it 500 more times throughout the week, it just makes me never want to buy a Toyota. There was actually another Toyota ad that annoyed me, but this one used a child. That's another thing that radio ads like to do is use children to try to make you go, aw, how cute and silly. But this one in particular used a very similar premise to the first one, except it's just a child calling the dealership. But you see, the kid thought they were selling toys. You know, like board games and teddy bears and action figures because you know toyota because i mean kids are fucking stupid they don't know what cars are am i right fellow boomers it's just awful and hurts my brain however continuing the trend of using children there's another ad that starts with a little girl breathing very heavily and saying i haven't eaten in days i'm so hungry it hurts now judging off of that information guess what is being sold pause the video if you gotta think about it for a little bit now tell me did you guess oil changes? Because I sure wouldn't. They use that horribly voice acted beginning part to pull your little heartstrings so you come and pay them to change your car's oil. But hey, they'll donate $1 to a charity to feed kids or something if you do come to them. To end to that, I say fuck yourself. I will change my own oil and donate $10 to that charity purely out of spite. And besides the annoying ads that either try way too hard to be funny or just specifically made to be annoying, you have the super hardcore serious ones like, did you get cancer from using a thing? Well, call this number because you or your family could get money because that thing killed you. And they all start off the same, like, I'm a non-attorney spokesperson. Do you have cancer? Like, Jesus, no, I don't have cancer, but I'm getting a little depressed hearing about it every five minutes. But if I'm being honest, these are the least offensive ones as they're very straightforward and to the point, but I would still rather just not listen to them ever. So yeah, that's my rant about the radio. If you made it this far into the video, I hope you have a better understanding on why I feel the radio is awful. And please join me in never listening to the radio on your own. We need to let this relic of the past die and be forgotten forever. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in my next video real soon. Peace out.